As a vice chancellor, I mean, uh, many said you were overly ambitious and you saw everything to be an opportunity to make money, raise revenue, to, even to a point where anybody who had to enter the university had to pay tolls. Was, was that not a little <laughs> too much? <laughs> um, I'm not sure I will agree to uh, a description of being over ambitious. Any public servant, any private uh, entrepreneur, anybody should be ambitious. There's nothing wrong with ambi being ambitious. That being over ambitious. Over ambitious. That they say that's greed. Yes. Um, if I was looking for things from my pocket, you could call that as being uh, over ambitious. Th there's a perception. If, 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 I, if I was pushing the university beyond what it could do, that's over ambitious. Th there's a perception many have that, p particularly in a lot of government institutions mm. or public institutions, mm. a lot of these developmental projects are pushed so that people can get kickbacks. And that some have yeah. alleged here in the university that probably it's because of the money. Well, that's why I've, 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 heard, I've heard such a rumors and speculation. You never received a kickback? You can find out from any of the people who work here whether I ever asked anybody info or whether anybody ever offered me anything, you know. Actually, the reputation that I had among the people who did projects here was that this, don't take any such thing to this man. He's not going to accept it. You know? And if you probably end up in trouble. Mm. Uh, were, no, you, were you ever offered a bribe? No. Nobody were offered you ever offered kickback? No. Nobody. Look, nobody, off, nobody had it. I, know, I didn't get myself involved in the process of awarding contracts. I didn't. So there was a process? Yeah, there, there was, was a process. System. There was a system and I didn't get involved. Mm -hmm. I was never part of procurement. No. When they've done their procurement and they've agreed on who is going to do what, they brought it to me. I went through. I was satisfied. I signed it. I never, ever negotiated with any contractor except the guy who was doing the roads. Why? Because we wanted him to do their roads and give us reports on a concessional basis. So after he had told us and that we had accepted the quotes for, uh, from him uh, as opposed to other people that had also put in bids, I called him and I said, look, we don't have the money for it. We don't have the money. Would you be kind enough to accept payment straight over three years? And he said, that was the first time I got engaged uh, in the discussion with the contractor.